Okay, we're back. Woo! Back here with the, uh... Whoa, that's a lot of satellites. Wait, it's lit- Oh, wait, those aren't satellites. Those are just explosives. I see. You know, that's cool. That's cool. As, you know, as dangerous as that's probably gonna make the mission, fuck it. Well, do I wanna say fuck it? Hmm. Yeah, fuck it. Okay, so we have our tank. So I need to remember that Henry can run through enemies. Any units that step on the space will trigger the mine and be killed. Wow, just straight up killed. No shit. Okay. Well, I can just... Well, we'll see. Oh, but these are flying units! Oh my god. Okay, wow, this is actually much worse than I thought it would be. I didn't, I didn't take into account flying units. Oh, oh no! Wait, did that unit just fly up there? Was that fine? Any units that stop, oh, that stop on this space will trigger the mine and be killed. Okay. Interesting. So I can, hmm. Wow, this is not gonna go how I thought it would go. We'll see. So I'm just gonna have you shoot into nothing. Yeah, I need to have you. Wow, fuck, I'm gonna take a grid damage. <sighs> That's okay. Stop this asshole from spawning. And I will shoot that buddy. You will be shot. All right. So that takes care of that. Ah, oh, damn it. It's actually a much harder mission than I thought it would be. Because limiting your movement is a lot. Yep. Oh, good, good. The Vec just don't even know what's going on. Perfect, I can just punch it in there. Uh-oh. Well, shit, maybe I shouldn't punch it in there. Um... I can, I think, use this thing to shoot right there, which will push that into the mine and kill it. It'll push this over there. That won't do me much good, honestly. I think it's a good opening move, though. So, we're gonna... Oh, but I'm damaging my own unit, of course. Oh, but wait. Oh, but wait, this unit can just go through shit. That's amazing. You're gonna go over there. You're gonna punch that shit. We're gonna go over there. Gonna do damage that way. Um, and you're not even gonna worry, my dude. You're doing great. Oh, but is it better to- Oh, but that's two damage. I probably shouldn't take two damage. I think that's quite worth it. So we're just gonna end the turn that way. God, I wish I hadn't take that grid, taken that grid damage. I feel like such a fool! And then what's your deal? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. What am I gonna do about these buddies? So I can try to kill that. That'll help. This does two damage, so it's gonna be able to kill that straight up. So I can just go punch that. The problem is this thing. Well, I guess I could just shoot into nothing. It's not a big deal. Yeah, let's, let's try that. About time I got a promotion. Yeah, uh, plus one mech move. Oh, that's so good. It can go so fucking far now. That's amazing. Okay. What should you be doing? You know, I can just push something into something. I can push this bug right there so it takes care of a thing. Yeah, let's do that. So that's just gonna block one of the Vec from going up. I'm just gonna go over here. I'm just gonna kill this thing. No biggie. 
Having the two damage on the tank really changes the tank because the tank goes from like a position because it, it, it can only kind of position something in one of two directions at any given time because you're not really able to move around the map fast enough. I don't know. It's just really interesting. It's so interesting. And we're just kind of mopping up here, so. Just mopping up. I did that kind of stupidly, but no worries. If the Vec think they're wearing me down, they've got another thing coming. I'm just gonna shoot you. You've been shot. I wonder if I get a bonus if I kill all the Vec. Hmm. By the way, the fact this game's subtle lore is really cool that you're just like you're just like all at the end of the day, you only get to save one pilot if you lose. So the mechanic in this game is that if you lose, if your grid goes down, you have the option to send one pilot back in time. And that pilot is able to keep all their experience and their special moves, which they get three three moves, right? And that's just fucking cool. Whoa, they Oh shit, everyone. Oh my god. I just got like a fucking dream team. Okay, so let's see here. This mech can now move like fucking all over the place. Well, that's not Oh, no, that's not true cuz I took off the reactor cores. Okay. So this mech can is back up to 4. I can move 4 with that mech. That's great. And it can go through units, which is great. Uh, this mech also can move more now, which is great, because I find the tank sometimes just needs to move more. Lita, let's see, Lita just has more health. Great. Great. Good. I love, love more health. So we're going to go destroy the Scorpion Leader and protect the Corporate Tower. These regions are fucking goners. That's a lot of health. So, opening move will be to punch the shit out of something. Um, you're just gonna kinda be back here. Gonna give you a lot of options to just go up and down here and move something as appropriate. Wow, that is, wait, I thought that was, oh no, oh no, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, okay. So what I can do is I can shoot this thing and then it will damage its own buddy. And I can, here, what's the turn order? It'll go first. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. So I'm gonna shoot you. So that's on fire now. It's gonna damage that. And, hmm. Interesting. So if I shoot here, I can shove this into that so it will kill that dude. You're gonna run back here and you're just gonna punch the shit out of that thing. So we're gonna put you there. And then you are gonna go punch that dude. Alright, so we took out two enemies this turn, which is good because two more are spawning in. And the boss is doing a certain amount of damage. It's gonna get my tank probably webbed up. I'm fine with that. I'm not too worried. I think I can... I might be able to kill it this round. Oh god, I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill it this round. Well, I might be able to kill it this round, because I might be able to, like, shoot... Um, hmm, okay. Hmm. That's a problem. Uh... Ooh. That's a big old problem. Um, I don't know if I have a way to deal with that right now. I do have a way to deal with that. I will be on fire. That's me being on fire is possibly going to suck a lot. So let's think about this first, Tony. Do I have any other way of blocking that? Because I can punch this thing and then possibly shoot it with my tank. I could punch this thing, shoot that with my tank, and then use this to... Mm. See, at the end of the day, the pro my problem is that I can't just, like, shoot that up or something. Okay, I want to save my power grid, so... 
think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna shoot and punch. So I'm gonna punch and then shoot. And I'll do damage to that. I'll do a single damage though is the problem. So you're gonna you're okay, here's here's the deal. You're gonna shoot that. This thing is gonna shoot up. Thus pushing this back down. But in the meanwhile, my tank's gonna... Okay. Okay, I think I can do this. So it's gonna be damaging those right now. I'm gonna have you run over, be on fire. You're not on fire. Oh, you have to end the turn. Oh, oh. Oh, easy squeezy, beautiful cover girl. Okay. Um, I did fuck up though. <laughs> I did fuck up. Mm, kinda wish I hadn't fucked up, but that's okay. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of damage. That can take a damage. Oh, but I have victory in three turns. Oh, shit. I don't think I have a way to do more damage to that thing, so... I think I just need to tank that damage with, well... With my tank. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, tank. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Oh, no! <laughs> that was a bad turn! Okay. Okay, this is an easy turn, in fact. Because all I really need to do is punch this thing, have this run away, have this run away, and shoot that. Okay, easy, easy turn. Uh, actually, this is going to, oh, fuck. Oh, but that has four health, fuck. I'm just gonna shoot, I'm just gonna take a little damage. I'm just gonna take a little dammy dam. Not a big deal. Lita, you're gonna recover at the end of this. And you know, you're just gonna shoot this guy. Thus killing it. Perfect. So now I just have to kind of take care of the usual suspects. Which is something of a problem. It's not not a problem. See, that's not a problem because I can just dance around that with my mech. Um, so first, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna straight up shoot that. Um, Lita's gonna take a damage. I'm not worried about that though. And then you're just gonna go up there. Shoot there. Just gonna get a bunch of XP. So I lost a power grid and that's kind of the biggest problem. That's kind of wish I hadn't lost a power grid there, but that's okay. So we kind of are at a different part of the game. So you accomplished every archive mission and astounding accomplishment. Please you and the Rift Rock Walkers accept this as thanks. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh my God, that's such a cool ability. Mech can act twice if it does not move. That's so cool. Let's see, your ore hydraulic legs. Leap to a tile damaging self and adjacent units. That's really cool. Or I could just get two grid power. Because this requires power, like, uh, fucking reactor cores, I think I'm just gonna take the two grid power. And then I'll see if I can upgrade my grid power just a little bit. So I'm gonna spend my reputation. Uh, boosters are on sale. So this is kind of like those hydraulic legs, except it doesn't damage enemies and yourself. Um, and apparently it doesn't cost anything. Interesting. So I might get that, because that's on sale, and that's pretty cool. You can also donate shit. Like, I don't, I don't need this pilot. So. Yeah, I'm gonna assign that pilot to that island. So that's cool. If I get that, I'll get more defense. 
Artillery shot that applies smoke and it pushes two adjacent tiles. That's kind of interesting. So that'll kind of, that makes it so an enemy, that effectively neutralizes an attack. So the way smoke works is that if you're in smoke, you or the enemy, it just you just can't do damage. Wow, leap over any distance dropping a bomb on each tile you pass. Holy shit. Deploy a small tank to help in combat. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, that's really cool. Okay. That could be pretty damn strong. So I'm gonna for sure grab two reactor cores. I'm gonna grab these boosters because fuck it, they're on sale. And they don't cost anything. It just seems like maybe just a good bil ability to like just pop out every once in a while. I could put that on my tank because my, my punchy mech already can move through enemies. I could upgrade my grid defense. That would be pretty cool. The bonus will decrease the higher your grid defense gets to a maximum of plus 25. I could get a sweet bomb or some shit though. Oh. See, the problem with the light tank is that it requires a lot of power. And granted, I have the ability, I could, instead of doing two damage, just have a little buddy. And that would be cool, but the problem is that I think it probably takes up a turn to do that. So I don't know. I imagine this can be pretty strong. It just really depends on what build you're going for, but I don't think I'm going for that build. I could just get some defense. Yeah, fuck it. So no, now my grid defense is up a fair amount, so that's pretty cool. And uh, if your grid is full when it receives additional power, your grid defense will be permanently upgraded. Sick. So we're gonna leave the island. And we have uh, we have only one other choice at the moment. We're gonna go to the RST Corporation. This place is actually really cool. The, the lore behind this is that it's a big desert place because uh, the terraforming specialist RST turned the environment against the Vec and nearly destroyed their island in the process. Like that's just really cool to me. So we're gonna go here. And she's like really, really critical of pretty much everything you do, which I also kind of like. I think that's that's a cool angle. Like, she doesn't believe that you're time travelers, which I'm into. Now, I have a couple reactor cores that I can install. I can give myself a dash, so charge any distance before push punching the target. That's cool. I could just straight up do more damage, I think. Wait, with who? I don't have enough to do more damage. I could invest so that I get more damage. That could be pretty cool, but the thing about this game is that Damage is great, but the ability to maneuver enemies onto the like emerging Vec and off of like into the water and shit like that is often more powerful than than just straight up doing damage. I could upgrade my health, which could be pretty good. I could even hmm. Uh, but also, yeah, let's take this out of storage. I'm gonna put this on my tank, the boosters. Um, because I think that might just be useful. Where do I want to install these two reactor cores? It'd probably be, be it'd probably be good. Blah, 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 blah. It'd probably be good just to straight up have more health. So I'm gonna be, do the coward's route and just make it so that all my dudes have more health. Just the edge this mech needs. Fucking sick. All right, so. I might as well, I think I should probably, um, upgrade my power, my power while I'm here. So I, so I think I'm going to do something to protect the power and upgrade my grid defense because I'll probably be taking damage over the course of the next several levels and it's already at max. So I might as well like really maximize on that while I can. I don't want to kill. I do not want to not kill the volatile vec. That just sounds difficult. It's a particular type of enemy. So we're going to protect the emergency batteries. I think. Keep firing until every Vec is dead, then shoot them again. Do not allow even one to escape or they'll swarm us again in days. So are these? No, those are buildings. Oh, th that's the emergency batteries. Interesting. Can I just click on it? No. What the fuck is that thing? Explosive decay? Oh, no, no, no. So this is a blast scion. Now that this is up, 
all enemies will explode unless I kill that first. After I, so like I kill the enemy and then it just explodes. And then I'm like, wow, I'm so sad. Tile will turn into smoke when damaged, preventing this unit from attacking. Launch artillery attack on two tiles. Interesting. I don't want that around. I also don't want that around. Here's the deal. My ability to punch will be there. My ability to shoot will be there. I'm going to put you there. I'm not really... The starting position is something that I don't entirely understand yet. I don't know. So, what can I do here? I can just shoot this thing down. Great. Punch that. And then artillery that into the water. Okay. Great. So I'm going to go over here. Wait, do I want to do that? Yeah. Punch that. Go up here. Artillery, you so you're dead. And then go over here. And then just do that. Perfect. The smoke is really interesting because it's not necessarily just a bad thing. You really can use it to your advantage. Okay, so I probably want to end up with this thing over there, right? Or I could end up with this over there. God, if my artillery was around, I could even shoot there and do like a bunch of cool bullshit, but... I think either I'm gonna have to punch this or, or something. Something I'm gonna kill that unit this turn. Um, and that's that's just gonna shoot that, I think is what's gonna happen. How much damage? Three da- oh god! Fuck yeah! Oh, woo! So this is this this unit this enemy unit right here is gonna be be my buddy for this turn. So I might just punch it over there. Yeah, it's gonna do damage to that, and it's gonna block a dude. My tank is just going to run down here. Wow, what a good turn! And then this. I think I'm just gonna shoot that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to shoot it. Oh, but no, that'll push that down there. Oh, but that's fine, because it's shooting a thing. Alright, good. This was a good turn. I'll have two Vec emerging, but that's fine, because that one's just fucking toasted. And that one's going to die with a single hit, which is great. And that's less great, because I now have a buddy. Who I didn't want. I did not want that buddy to just go web my dude. Webbing your... When they web your guys, it sucks. Also, man, they're starting to... They're already doing just a shit ton of damage. It is amazing. Okay, I can't go in there. I can punch this that way. And it will just be in smoke and it won't... It won't do anything. Or I could go here. That's probably better because that way I'll block the back. I'll use the artillery to shoot that. And I'm just gonna shoot that with my tank, I think. Yeah. Just gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna do the tank's turn first. Yeah, there we go. So you're gonna go there. And you're just gonna shoot that away. Fucking gone. That was my turn. That was a good turn. Although I do end up with four Vec on the field. Eh. I feel like if you get five on the field, it's like, well, shit. Everything is bad. And things are only bad. So I can shoot this into that. And then maybe shoot it with my artillery. Oh, but so I have to deal with that, though. So here's the deal. My artillery is going to hurt myself, but in the process, kill two back, so it's fine. Maybe punch that into that. Yep. And then you're just gonna go down there and shoot it. Sick. Not gonna lie, that was pretty textbook if I say so myself. It's a good feeling when you do well in this game. Like, it is a good-ass feeling.
One less Vex worm to worry about. I read the bow reports. I'm impressed. You and the Rift Walkers are very thorough on the extermination. So that's great. Uh, my power grid went up. I think. Yeah, my power grid went up. So I'm at 21% defense. That's really great. Oh. So when you see these, I would get two stars. Oh God, and a reactor core. That's sick. Um, but it's a high threat detected, so this might be a difficult mission. So let's go see what's up. Uh, so I need to defend this thing right here. And I think the threat is this, is that there are four enemies, I'm pretty sure. It, or it might spawn the Vec in like faster or something like that. Ah, ah, my nose. No. It's almost taken care of my nasal issues. Ah! Ah! So I think I'm gonna start the punchy dude like real low. That way I'm able to just kind of get in there. Um, I'm gonna put you right there. Hopefully I might be able to shoot down. I guess. And then you're gonna be back here. It's hard to stay with the artillery because, like, at the end of the day, like. You almost want to get your health ground down to one to like stop a Vec from spawning in and shit like that. So it's kind of helpful to like have your artillery close closer. I don't know. Wow. God damn. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So that's quite the. Quite the opening move. So my tank can just shoot that from there. It'll hit that. The problem is, it'll, is that it'll explode. Um, I guess I can go down here. That'll only do one damage. So I can just, I can go down here, punch that up, and and just take that damage. And then have my artillery take care of that asshole. Okay. I am fine with that. So you're gonna go there. Shoot that. That thing is dead. And then, you know, I think I, oh no, actually it does need to move. Okay. Just gonna kind of cart that away. Just gonna pretend that it's not even a problem. Wow, stabs two tiles in front of it for two damage. That's, that's pretty good. I mean, like, I know that I'm gonna be getting stronger, but like the enemy getting stronger is wild in this game. Okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> uh, a lot of bullshit going on. A lot of bullshit. So, wow. Okay, I really need to utilize my artillery in this one. So the tank is nice in that I could probably just be up here, block the Vec, and shoot that. And that'd be pretty cool. But the quick thing is, I need my artillery to do two things at once. I could shoot my own unit stop that and push that down and then go push that and then go punch that guy <sighs> all right i think that's gonna be the plan um actually shoot i don't even need to punch my own <laughs> i don't even need to shoot my own guy um i might need to punch this into the fire though so let's do that um then you are going to go there I, oh, and then you're gonna do that. All right, it's dangerous having so many of those around, but, oh, fuck. Oh, I need to, okay, I need to reset that turn. Because I need to shoot that thing with my tank first, right? So I'll just, oh, God, I guess I'll just have Ralph go first. All right, have you go over there. All right, you're on fire. And then you go right there. Shoot those assholes. That thing's just gonna die next round from the fire. That's gonna get shot. So that's pretty cool. It's gonna take a health. These things are kind of a problem when I'm not doing a bunch of damage. Yeah, they're kind of a problem. So I can punch that thing. I think it'll end up on fire. 
Oh, God. Okay. So the artillery can once again... Oh, shit, will it be able to do anything useful? I need to get this tank in there. As good as it would be to block something right now. I can shoot that into my guy, thus killing that permanently. And then I might be able to go punch something there. My mech's gonna be on fire. That sucks. Oh, but I have to watch out for this thing. It's because I have like one, two, three. I have four different threats. Um, I could shoot here. Oh shit, what's the turn order? Oh god, I'm gonna do something so cool. <laughs> all right, all right. So this vec is gonna go first. It will catch on fire. Which is great. So I need to hit it with my artillery though is the thing. Because it'll die if it goes first and catches on fire. Okay. But it'll do two damage to those. So. Oh, but wait. I don't know if I, need, I can do that. Because I need the artillery to move that. That would have been really cool though. This is definitely one of those situations where in the game, you could just kind of need to sit back and think for a while. And yes, I know you're screaming at me from the background. I can hear you screaming. I can hear it. Saying, Tony, do this. Tony, do that. Tony, if only you were good at games. Oh no. It sucks to spend an entire turn just shooting a one health enemy, but I think that's what I need to do. Mm hmm. Also, is this going to terraform the grassland back to desert by itself? I don't know. Wait, eradicate all life in front of the terraformer? Wait, that's bad. That's real bad. I don't think I want to do that. I don't know what it means by terraform the grassland back to desert. Where's the defense lab? Is that the defense lab? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna terraform the life. That's really cool though that you can use this to just fucking kill all life. Like that's just, that's really cool. It's also really strong and I guess costs you a reputation. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go down and shoot. I think I have to go down and shoot. Or I could shoot this thing into that. No, I need to shoot this. Okay. Okay, I have to think really carefully here. I can punch that. And then I can still, still artillery. You know what? I think this will work out. So I punch that, and then I t artillery right here. This, this will still kill this, but this will be down there. Okay, you know what? You know what? This is going to work out. Oh, but no, it's on fire. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just going to take a grid damage. I think that's just how this, this puppy's going to work out. Who should I go puppy? And then you're just going to go down there. Slaughter that thing. So that's going to burn. That's gonna do damage. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's a bad dude. That's a bad dude to spawn. Uh, webbed already. At least buy a man dinner first. Uh, 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 uh. Um. So let's see here. I don't know if the web goes away if I move it with my artillery into my thing. I don't know. I might lose another grid here. This is, this is kind of a tough map, so like it's not so bad to lose grid. And I do have 21% grid already. It'd be cool to not lose another grid, though. I can catch on fire, so I can end here if I need to. Oh, you know what I can do? Hmm. I could use my jump ability. Jump forward and push adjacent tiles away. Is that even useful? Maybe that would have been useful earlier. I'm not sure. 
Because I can move somewhere and then jump, and that's pretty badass. Um. So, like, I could use my artillery. To push there. I need to do something about that asshole, though. I can't just push it up, either. I need to punch it. Because that does, what, one damage? I kind of need to punch it. I, d I just need to push it back one, is the thing. And then it won't do damage to my grid. And then, if I can push this... So I need to get I need to push this back. I need to push this down. And I need to get that out of there. Now, the problem is that this guy's all webbed up. So, I don't know... If... If I shoot right there with the artillery... I don't know what's gonna happen. I need this guy though. <laughs> um, see, this is where it would have been really useful to have the ability to shoot my own buildings. Oh, but that would have shut. No, that would have. Mm. It still, it still would have been a maneuver, but it. Mm. I think I'm just gonna take another grid damage. Um, it's one, two, three, four. I can't move five. That would be badass. I think I might move here, but that would only be bad. I'm not gaining anything if, if this if it doesn't get rid of the web. Let's see here. But they can still attack. Web the target, preparing to stab it. I don't know. I think that maybe the tank is the key to solving a problem here. I'm just not realizing it. You know, what's interesting is that I can actually go over here and then jump over the mountain, pushing this down. Which effectively neutralizes that threat. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm just gonna take a grid damage. Use my boosters. Aha! Um. Just fucking punch that thing. I'm just gonna take a damage, I guess. I could have planned that out a little bit better, but whatever. Okay. So I am gonna lose the grid. I don't know how to terraform. I wonder if the terraform the grassland just means don't use this. You know? Oh, hey, it resisted! Fucking sick! I feel so justified about putting those points into the grid. <laughs> Alright, so I didn't terraform the grassland, but that was still overall worth it. Um, because I got a reactor core, and reactor cores are incredible in this game. Let's go upgrade. Oh, uh, my tank is... <laughs> my tank has a lot of bullshit going on. What, what's kind of my weakest link here? I think it's my artillery mech. That building's immune part might be cool. It'd be cool to do more damage, but man, that's not what the artillery's about. I don't know. I just don't know. I might also just save that reactor core. But I guess I should think about what I'm gonna upgrade next, because it'd be useful. It'd be more useful to have it being used than not being used, you know. It might be nice to have it ready to just like do more damage, but I feel like that's not what I'm having problems with. It does having the combat mech webbed up. That that really limits you. It really really limits you because each turn you basically need to be doing oh. I just dropped the keyboard. You basically need to be stopping four Vex at once. Or at least ideally you're, you are, but here, we're gonna upgrade. We're gonna upgrade something and then we'll probably end the episode. It's kind of going long. It's a long ass episode. I might just do the buildings immune. I'm hoping I get something for the artillery that does more damage, so. Yeah, let's put the buildings immune. Alright. 
All right, now that my billions are immune and that we'll have seismic activity, I just want you all to know that I'm probably going to do the Mercury Rage. Defend the prototype Renfield bombs. Yeah, I'll probably do that one. Uh, but hey, if you enjoyed this video, I really appreciate it. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, we also have a Patreon that you can check out in the end card or the video description. Um, and I, I just think you're really rad. You should really look forward to next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, we have a wonderful LP that is beginning uh, with Mal and Fiona. And I am just so excited to see what those two come up with. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you later.